Hey guys, what I'm going to show you is going to blow your mind. So the paper is called Drag Your GAN. It's an interactive point-based manipulation on the generative image, right? Effectively, what it does is that you define two points in an image. You drag those points apart in whichever direction you want and a new image is rendered, taking in mind the new characteristics of the image that you'd want to see. So there are two points defined on the nose and on the jaw. The user input dragged both of these apart. And this is the new image that was generated. Similarly, the nose was dragged to the right. And this is the new image that was generated based on this new action. This is an image of a cat. Two points were defined on the eyelids. The eyelids were brought, to, brought together. And this new image was generated uh, where, the, where a single eye of a cat was closed. You can see there is very little variation on the um, other properties or other characteristics of this specific image. It also works on cars. So you, two points were defined on the car. It's almost like you're editing a 2D image in a 3D way, right? So it kind of dragged the front side of the car and the uh, left side of the car and it kind of rendered the car in a completely new way. What's crazy that it also kind of works on the apparels where you can drag the apparel and a new apparel is rendered based on what you want to see in the image. So you can see this is the input and this is the output image. Also works on nature images. You can see the mountain. Uh, there was no mountain and then suddenly when the point was dragged upwards, there was a new mountain that was created. So it understands the context and re-renders the image based on what you want to see in the image. Uh, there's a whole paper on how this works and what this does. And if you're interested, you can go ahead and read the paper out. I'll leave a link to the paper in the description. But this holds crazy potential not only for just the video editing, but also the augmented reality and virtual reality space. You can just feed in images and you can work on these images like these were 3D images, right? This is the pinnacle of where the AI can get. Anyway, so you look at the uh, videos that the creators have shared from the demo videos that the creators have shared. And this is the main demo. So let's take a look at this. Again, this is accelerated, meaning they've kind of removed the parts where it kind of takes time to re-render the image. So it may take time. So let's just align our expectation in that specific way here. So you can see there are two points defined on the leg. The points were dragged to both left and right. And the new image was rendered where the dog is now standing. Same for the jaw and the nose. The dog has its mouth open now. Similarly for ears, which is really interesting. Imagine the amount of complexity the image is going through in order to do this. If you look at this specific dog, um, look at the initial image. It's facing a specific way and this is a natural, real clicked image, right? This is not generated by AI. It kind of drags it to a new position where even the eye gets aligned in a way that it's kind of looking at you, which is what it kind of, which is what makes this insane. You can even manipulate it further. You can manipulate how cars are aligned. Um, you can also manipulate their position, their view, uh, so you can do similar things for animals. We saw for horse, we saw these examples where you can also edit the eyes of the cat. Uh, again, this is a random capture from Wild where uh, you're pulling the foot in the front closer ahead to the second foot or further away from the foot. You can edit human faces. So this is the initial face where a model is just looking at the screen. There's no direct indication of model smiling or uh, laughing and this is what happens later. You drag in a corner of the lift to a little left side and it kind of creates a mirrored effect where the model is now smiling, uh, looking at the camera. It kind of aligns the jaw, it kind of moves the model, aligns the hair. You can see it also kind of works on the eyelids. And this is also, and this is yet another crazy thing where you can also work on apparels and clothing and the orientation on the model overall, crazy. Crazy. So, you know, the kind of potential that this holds, especially for this one too, right? You can also edit microscopic images, which is insane because these images are very small or very micro in that sense. You can also edit nature images. So I'm really, really surprised. And this is going to kill manual photo editing uh, in the future. I think this also holds great potential for both augmented reality and virtual reality, because imagine feeding in an image in your virtual headset and being able to see all the sides of that specific image using a technique similar to this. Now there are more demos here um, and these are all broken down. You can see this demo is specifically for the horse where you, you have seen the accelerated version of this, right? Now, if you look at this, you can see when you drag a point there, you can actually um, monitor how the moment happens throughout the frames, right? For this can, for example, become like a animated video of sorts. Uh, let's see. For, let's see how the rest of the video looks as well. You can see the tails being moved around, and the entire image kind of adapts 
to what you want to achieve with the image, which is what makes this insane. You can see this is yet another image of a horse and you want it to face downwards and, and in a very clean manner, the horse was uh, horse now aligned downwards. You can see if you want to move, move the second foot to the left and the front foot to the uh, right. And again, it's very clean how the moment uh, happens and that the previous two legs also align with what the first two legs kind of want to achieve. The whole image, so the model identifies that this is maybe an animal or maybe it identifies this as a horse and it kind of aligns what you want to achieve uh, on that specific image or that horse per se. Yet another great video where you're dragging the face of the horse to look downwards and it kind of just moves from point A to point B, but it does in a way where it kind of utilizes the capabilities of generative AI and it aligns the entire scene based on what you want to achieve for that specific object or a thing. You know, this is yet another video on the uh, apparel where you can now edit the apparel. And this is, we've already seen this in the demo where uh, we saw the accelerated version, exactly the same thing, but in a more um, how it happens manner, right? All the three models we had seen in the demo itself. So I'm not gonna go through this again. Uh, there are a couple of videos here as well, but I don't think they've gone live now, um, primarily because I think they are anyways the part of the video. So we had seen lion, cat, dog, etc. So, um, and you know, there's also a paper on this. So if you're interested, Kind of go ahead and read through the paper to understand how it works. There's obviously some issue going on with the link because um, it's gone viral since yesterday and it's completely possible that you may not be able to access it right now. There's also a GitHub page on this, but the code is not added on this page yet. Um, but I'm pretty sure there are users who've kind of, you, you know, who are kind of watching this page and the minute anything happens here, uh, trust me, uh, you'll be one of the first ones to know because I will go ahead and kind of make a video on that too. But yeah, pretty much that is it for the video, guys. I think really interesting developments happening in generative AI. This is going to kill manual photo editing for sure. Um, there are more things beyond this that you do in photo editing, but in general, generative AI is, AI in general is going to be a huge impact in this space. So I'm really excited to see what happens. And I hope you guys are excited too. So I'll see you guys in the next one.